Our manipulator works just perfectly. Good! So that means that we're free to go. Great. See you later. All right, finally. Now it's our turn to experiment with that manipulator. And do you know how to operate this m manipulator? <laughs> Why do you think we were spying? A manipulator is a kind of mechanical arm that people use for difficult or dangerous work. To control a manipulator, humans use a remote control or a joystick. The operator gives the command, and the mechanical arm grabs and moves the load. Some robotic manipulators don't even need to be steered by an operator. They're controlled by computers and can work without people being there at all, even on the moon. Huh. What is this button for? Uh-huh. How about this one? Uh-huh. Would you like to take a ride right now? Uh, you're scared. Scared? Not one bit. Then off we go. Yeah, cool. Ha, this is totally awesome. Well, hang on. This is going to get even awesomer. Professor? Hmm, strange. What made this ladder just fall over? Ah! Am I crazy? Or is someone here? Oh, calm down. Calm down now. Poor Elisa. Yeah, you're completely overworked. Who's here? Achoo! Hang in there, Nolik. I'll get you out of there. My compact's gone. Oh dear, what's going on? Ah! Stop this nonsense right now, or I'll call the police on you! I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in... Ah! Where are you pulling me? I'm going to faint. I'm warning you. That's all. Goodbye. Oh. Throughout the world, humans use manipulators for all sorts of work. In factories, manipulators are used to lift and move heavy loads. They can also hand out the parts needed for assembly or even attach these parts themselves. In hospitals, more precise manipulators are used by doctors to help perform operations. Manipulators are also used in places where the work is simply too dangerous for people. For instance, where there are deadly chemicals, or places where humans can't get to easily. Like somewhere underground where there isn't enough space to move, or deep under the water. Or in outer space where there's absolutely no <laughs> air to breathe. So you see, mechanical arms are helpful in all sorts of places where humans are unable to reach things with their own arms. Hang on, Nolik. How can I get that thing open? Ugh, I got it! Yes? Who's there? What's going on? Uh, uh, achoo! Ah, ah, ah. No, no lick? What are you doing in there? Achoo! We just <laughs> took a little test flight. Is this yours? <gasps> Elisa! Elisa! 
Professor Eugenius. I was attacked by a crazy arm. The manipulator. <laughs> it's your imagination. Look, it's come back. Stop. Stop, I'm telling you. Professor Eugenius, it heard what you just said. Calm down, it's okay. It was a little malfunction, but I took care of it. You are just astounding. And don't think that I'm through with you. With me? With you? <laughs> no, no, with the manipulator. Let's go, Elisa. Yeah, let's go, Professor. Great job, fire. And why fire? <laughs> is the Fixie's victory call. When a job is well done and we Fixies are proud of our work, we exclaim, Tadish! And raise up our hand with our thumb and first two fingers sticking out. You want to know what it means? It's very simple. Fixies love solving problems and fixing things that are broken. And do you know what you need to do to solve a problem? First, you need to find out what's broken. Second, understand why it broke. And third, repair what's broken so it works again. So do what the Fixies do and first, find it. Second, understand it. And third, fix it. Tadish! <laughs> it really is a great word. And it sounds funny. But we Fixies surely like it a lot. Go ahead. I've just got some homework to do. I can do that, and better than you can, too. And what if I play like this, huh? Then I'll go like that, or like that. Take pity, and they'll buy me my own drum. Bang it, bang it, bang it, boom! Bang it, boom! Bang it, boom! Bang it, bang it, bang it, bam! Bang it, bam! Bang it, bam! Bang it, bang it, bang it, boom! Bang it, boom! Bang it, boom! Bang it, bang it, boom! Bang the drum! Bang the drum! Both my father and my mother wish I'd play a violin instead. I don't want to. I'm a drummer. Drum that in their heads. So I bang on radiators with the spoon. The puck goes boom, bam, bum. Maybe someday they will get it and they'll buy me my own drum. Bang it, bang it, bang it, boom, bang it, boom, bang it, boom, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bam, bang it, bam, bang it, bam, bang it, bang it, bang it, bum, bang it, bum, bang it, bum, bang it, bang it, bum, bum. Bang the drum, bang it, bang it, bang it, boom, bang it, boom, bang it, boom, bang it, bang it, bang it, bam. and flows down into the drain trap. And after that, it goes down to the sewer. But when you turn off the water, not all of it washes away. Some of it stays down in the drain trap. It's made that way so the smell from the sewer won't get back into the house. A ring is much heavier than water, so if you happen to drop it down the drain, it won't wash away. It will stay at the bottom of the drain trap. They need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out.
The thermos. Where should I put it? Put what, Tom Thomas? Oh, it's you. Uh, my ice cream. Are you joking? Eat it! I can't. Tom Thomas, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. It's just that it's a present for my mom. Today is Mother's Day. Then you need to go give it to her. I can't. Dad and I are going to congratulate her together. What's your dad going to give her? I don't know. But when he gets back home, the ice cream will have melted. Then put it in the freezer. And what if Mom looks in there and finds it? The surprise will be ruined. <sighs> so where won't she find it? I'll tell you where. Inside of your dad's office. I don't see any place to hide it here. There's no freezer or anything. Why don't you take a look inside the box? Here's a thermos. But what good is it to me? Thermoses are for keeping things hot. The ice cream will melt in there. It will not. A thermos is made by putting one bottle inside of another. Between the bottles is an empty space, and that's the secret of a thermos. That space stops heat from getting out or in. So if there's hot tea inside, the empty space doesn't let the heat from the tea get out. And if there's ice cream in the thermos, the space stops the heat that's outside from getting in. And that's how a thermos keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. That's it. I'll go and play for a little while. He didn't even say thank you, did he, Nolik? Where are you, Nolik? I'm here! Where? In the thermos! What are you doing in there? I wanted to see that vacuum you talked about. Just don't touch anything. And don't even think of licking the foil. The ice cream's so cold, your tongue will stick to the metal. It's already stuck. What did you say? It's already stuck. <gasps> already stuck? Uh-huh. Try to unstick it. Well, is it working? Yeah. And what if you breathe onto the foil? <sighs> yeah. Hang on, Nolik. I'll go and get Tom Thomas. <sighs> Winter is a wonderful time of year. Holidays, presents, snowballs, skates, sleds. But the cold is also something serious that you shouldn't fool around with. The most important thing is to dress warmly. Cover your head with a hat and your throat with a scarf. Then there's less chance you'll catch a cold or get a sore throat. And to keep your hands from getting chapped, don't forget to wear gloves. And never walk around in wet shoes in the winter. That's a sure way to get yourself sick. And there's one more thing I want to tell you. It's great to have fun in the cold, but use your head. Don't eat snow or stick your tongue on metal fences, poles, or doorknobs. Your tongue can get stuck so strongly to the metal that it will be very hard to get off. I wish you all a glorious winter. Tom Thomas! Nolik's tongue got stuck! Where? In the thermos! Hurry! I'll explain everything later! Dad, you're already home? Mm-hmm. Dad, why are you taking my present? What do you mean, your present? I mean this one. Since when did it become yours? Oh, hi there. What's the fuss all about? Oh, it's nothing at all. I uh, have a huh? surprise for you. I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. A thermos? How wonderful. Thanks so much. <laughs> Is there something in here? I don't think so. <laughs> Inside, there's a present from me. Vanilla ice cream. My favorite. And how did that end up in there? <laughs> Thank you so much, my sweeties. No, look, you got me so scared. Thank goodness you thought of turning into a screw inside of there. Uh-huh. Does your tongue hurt? Uh-huh. 
Do you think you can talk again? I can talk. Oh, that's good. We better hurry. We still need to go and wish our mother a happy Mother's Day. And you should too. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.